What is going on guys, DBG here and this is another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So lads, before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to channel 250,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And lads, it's going to be a really, really close one. It is going to be really, really close whether we hit or not. It's looking like at this rate we're probably not going to hit it. Either way though, it's still going to be very, very tight. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to channel 249k by the end of tomorrow. If we can do that, then we're on track. If not, we're a little bit behind, but it's still, there's still a slight possibility. But anyway, yeah, so locker codes have been quite big, and I have not typed in any of the locker codes in a couple of days. So, I'm trying to think what the last pack that I typed in was. I think we, we didn't get the dunk block. Okay. I had the, like, the uh, Shaq one. Like teammates one. These ones right here are the um mystery domination codes. Dunk block three. Dash pass. Dash steal. So this is another one of the mystery domination codes. So let's see again. If we can get something decent from a locker code, I'll be happy. Okay, this is one of these packs. You, we kind of want the sharpshooter one, but I don't know which one sharpshooter is. The, deep, the lockdown defender wouldn't be too bad, so I'm gonna try drop it and land on that one. I don't know if that's sharpshooter or defender, but either or it's lockdown defender. Like the badges, you really want you really want um want it blinders. We got so much blinders yesterday, or in the last episode, like I think 16k for a bronze blinders. Like it was crazy. And I'm pretty sure that, like, I used to not do anything with, uh, I used to not do anything at all with blinders badges because it was steady and it was worth nothing. Um, I think only one of these is worth anything. Let's see, come on. Come on, get right. Good positioning, let's go! Please be deluxe, please be deluxe. There we go. That's actually worth a little bit. That is worth a little bit. I think the next code is... it's another, These are all the like secret locker codes. These are these are decent locker codes. Like, these codes here are actually pretty good. Or E-N-C-V. Dash Y. Or, or Y-L-K. Or N. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Same again. Same again. Can we hit the same spot twice in a row? And um, we've probably missed. We've highly likely missed. If we hit the spinner, we're screwed. No, we're actually in decent position here. Don't hit the spinner again. Good. Stay right. Stay right. Stay right. We're actually in good enough position here. We're in... No, we just missed. All right. Thought maybe we would have been all right. Double take. Reward pack not worth much. Then there is dark... Dash matter. A T T E or dash Steph. P H dash Curry. U or or Y dash nine A B five Y. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, and we have to drop here and hope for the best. Like, it's quite a difficult one to hit. Like, it all depends on whether I hit that or not. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it, let's go. It's a warp reality pack. That is an ideal locker code. And I think, I'm pretty sure there's two codes that are guaranteed warp reality packs. So, like, these locker codes are really good, in my opinion. Slash, shack dash, on, dash, 2k TV. 2K TV dash S7 7 E16. So again, like this is a guaranteed as far as I'm aware. I, can't, I don't know why that. Why is this board like? There's no spinners, and you're sending people back up to the top for a board that is. 
Oh, we missed the deluxe pack. That's annoying. That is annoying. I thought we were... I thought we had the deluxe pack. And then we've got another locker code for... What was one of the most ridiculous things we've ever seen. So it was um, Dominus versus uh, Red City Boy. But they had like an entire draft yesterday for their teams. Or on Friday. I can't remember if it was yesterday or Friday. But basically, um, it was for a game today for, a, for like a sponsored stream. But both of them drafted teams that would, like, didn't work. Because they didn't have the right positions. So it turned out that both of them basically just got the same team. Like it was mad. Like it was mad. Like both of them just got basically... Oh, that's unreal. Both of them got all of the um, the players. They basically just got the uh, new set. Like one team didn't have a shooting guard. One of them didn't have a center in their draft team. So... Like two guys just gave both of them all the cards. So it was one of those pointless things ever. So let's open what packs do we have left. We have loads to open. We have loads to open. Let's see. Can we get... Can we shake and get a Tracy McGrady? That's worth like 15k, is it? Embiid might end up being worth something. I don't have space in my auctions. Alright, do I have anyone that I want to discard? Um, Ewing is worth a discard. Because he sucks. Discard him. Discard him. Discard him. Discard him. Because I know there's so many quantum packs around that he's never expensive. Clay will not have a uh, moments. He's, he has no potential to be a moments card, so discard the Clays. Anyone else out for the season? Jamal Murray. I'll discard you. And let's just discard the bronzes because I doubt they're going to be any way useful. And man, Jim Boylan, disaster of a coach. Let's discard him as well. Here we go. Uh, let's send him beat in. The reason I'm sending him beat to the auctions rather than discarding is again, he could have a moments game. He could have a moments XP challenge very easily. All right, let's go. Come on, shake, shake, shake. Ah, shock of the century. Shock of the feckin' century, lads. Shock of the century. Now we get nothing out of that pack. We got an Amethyst. No shake here, I reckon. Nope. Great, we got another. We got a third Isaac Okoro. I mean, Okoro's pretty good. Like, I'm not going for Bobby Jones, so I really don't care about getting extra Okoros. Come on. Come on. Give us a diamond or higher. Oh, uh, three! I got three of these packs and you gave me the same card three times. Oh my god. To be fair though, like when I was, was doing the pack opening video where I just opened a bunch of my MT, 50% of the packs were Isaac Okoro. I mean, he's not worth anything. Rogan wasn't the worst player in the world when he came out of Christmas, though. Where are those double take packs? Were they November? I'm pretty sure when he came out, he wasn't the worst player. What? Oh my god, you are screwing me. You're literally giving me the worst possible thing. Um, apply to Mel Daniels. Give me, like, the worst possible thing in each and every one of, uh, one of these packs. Come on. I have an Inferno Deluxe pack. Please give me a diamond or higher. The diamonds aren't even good in this set. They're not even worth anything you gave me an Amethyst. Oh my god, Porter Jr. I'm just going to discard Beal. I know Beal has potential to go up because of the fact that he's a... Well, he's having a great season. He could have a moments card. But man, I'm just frustrated. So wait, do we have many more quantums, or is that the start of it all? That's the start of it all. I need to just get all the shoe packs and just discard them all. Inferno award pack. Come on. Come on. No MPJ. Shake. 
You just shake one. Oh, your gold. My gold range isn't worth anything, is it? Gold range is now is worth absolutely sweet FA. Like, it's worth nothing. Come on, quantum pack. Quantum pack. We just want something. Give me something usable. Give me something worth more than 3k MT. <sighs> Tristan Thompson. Nets playbook doesn't even have quick true STS anymore. That's worth nothing. At least last year, when Nets playbook was worth like 8k, because it had a quick true SDS. Ah, oh man, I miss quick true SDS. It made everything more bearable. It made playing the game offline more bearable. Especially in current gen. We're just guaranteed. Like, current gen CPU is ridiculous. They just score every three pointer. It doesn't matter who the cards are, they will score every shot. I should discard him. I know bronze go for nothing. And that's a pity right there. Maybe we can get something in the um in the watch card packs in the dime consumable pack. Fingers crossed I can get something in a dime consumable pack here. Okay. Dime consumables, come on, give me something. Give me something, 2K. Give me something. Wow. That's not what we wanted. That's probably a 1,000 MT shoe. Perimeter lockdown pack. Come on, give me half clamps. Give me half clamps. Give me at least a Hall of Fame badge. At least make up for it with a half badge. At least you gave me a possible diamond contract. No, you gave me half interceptor. Let's go. Your Hall of Fame badge and a speed shoe. All right. That's not bad at all. I have half interceptor. I don't know who I'm going to put that on, but that's a good badge to have. Thank you, 2K. You didn't screw me this time. You didn't screw me this time around. All right, so players that I want to buy, I want to get all the kind of cheap guys in this set. So I want... I don't want Bobo. Bobo's too expensive. I want to get Corver and Caruso. Because Winslow... I'm Winslow. And the reason why I want to get them is I just want the easy XP, to be honest. Um, Like, I'm not going to touch limited. And... It's mad, like, we've got our... We've only got two more weeks left in the season, which is kind of crazy. And this, come, this actually comes on Monday, on Monday. So that's an interesting one. But, like, look, as you guys can see, I've done, like, none of the Warped Reality ones. Wait, have I not got Eddie Curry? No, I was 22 of the points with Eddie Curry. I need to score more of him. I don't know why I thought I only need 20. But, like, make 15 dunks with Corver. That's super easy, because I'm going to be playing some Triple Threat offline. Like these are all gonna be super easy. Like, there's no reason why like, I'm gonna play triple chat offline for like two hours, and there's no reason why I can't have be at like 90k XP at least. And that's some really like again, magic assists, 15 assists. That's nothing. It's not even like I've put in any sort of an effort with a lot of these. I've done like none of the mystery group. Mystery group four. Again, is there any other warrior small four threes I can do that very easily? Play unlimited, probably not going to do that. You're probably not going to do most of these, to be honest. This is an easy one, actually. And then, that's quite an easy one, so... Sure, look, when I start to look at going for the D-Rob grind, or not the D-Rob, the uh, J.R. Smith grind, because I'm going to get J.R. Smith. Can't believe what I'm getting him, like. He's a lot better than John Wall. Let's just say how much he is a lot better than John Wall. So, what's his name, Corver? So, I know Caruso's cheap. I know, um... Crusoe's cheap. I don't really know um, what price Corver is. Hey, 15. 15 is not expensive at all. That's not expensive at all. So 14 50 for Corver. Give me that. And then Caruso. Caruso's a lot cheaper. And Caruso's really good as well. Again, these guys are really great on current gen. Problem is next gen. I mean, they're they're not quite as good. 
Probably like 11.5 for him. No, sub 11. 10 flash. If, this isn't, if I don't get another user here, I'm happy. So 10k for him. That's not bad at all. Like 25k for these two guys are really, really good. And then Winslow. I know Winslow's quite cheap. I know Winslow's quite cheap. I overpaid for a lot of these cards, realistically. Um, today, they're cheaper than they were yesterday. Just as Winslow is... Let's see. Can I get him diamond for 9,000? Wow, he's cheaper than I thought. So I want to see, is there any of him with handles for days on him? So no handles for days is going to be an expensive badge. So you seem to see 26 gold or even some silver badges. And there are none badged up. Which is a little bit annoying. But I'll be able to sn I'll snipe handles for days eventually. 7, 900. Another user. There we go, 8,000. Card type badges. Call, um, badge name wears handles for days. Surely I have some of them, to be honest. Because he's actually... He could go in as my backup point guard with handles for days. You pay 3 three fifty for handles for days? That's that's very, very steep. You guys don't want to spend more than like 8k on handles for days. Like the only one you get for under 4k is gold. And bronze for 2k. Oh no. Give me silver 2k. That's not too bad. Let's go to like 2,350. We got a bronze one. We got a gold one. That's not bad at all. I think we already had we already had them, but if that means we got this whole thing for whatever 6k, 14k for handles for days. Winslow, he probably comes in as my point guard to be honest. Like in my actual squad, Corver probably comes in at the two. Where is Cor Corver's 96 overall two guard? And then my backup point guard. I mean, Winslow probably comes in. Small four Winslow probably comes in. There, to be honest. And let's just chuck these guys in just to go and shoot around with them a little bit. Not quickly. Quickly's not her not terrible, though. Not great, though. Quickly, Caruso. And the other one was a diamond that we bought. Winslow. Supply badges to him. Once again, he has all the key badges because he needs handles for days. Like with handles for days, he becomes a significantly upgraded player. Or significantly better player. There we go. Handles for days at gold. And like again, look at these. He's got just a bunch of crazy good badges. And Caruso. Caruso is a 6'5 dunking point guard. 31 halves. Half clamps, half interceptor. He's got half intimidator, half poserizer, half circus threes. So it's 23 gold badges. Um, Again, including like floor general. He's got a great three ball, great dunk, great handle, great defense, great speed, and great lateral quickness. Corver is basically like a Clay Thompson type player, except he has got a half post showtime. So he's got an unbelievable driving dunk. He's got like circus threes, and deep threes. So he's like an elite tier cone. And like again, he comes with half clamps as, as well as 20 gold badges. And he's also got like quick dribble style, which is quite a nice one for a um, a point guard or for a guy, especially if you are on next gen. It's kind of the reason why I'm putting using him over Bowen, even though Bowen does have the hot blinders badge. He's got a 99 three ball, 95 driving dunk, which is just crazy. 93 speed, two ball, acceleration. 94 laterals, insane. Wins low as well. A 93 ball, 90 driving dunk, good ball handle, a 6'7 point guard, great speed. And man, Winslow's got all the best things. Winslow's probably the best primary point guard in the game, to be honest. Let's just check out the release. Like, Caruso. His hair, his hair looks kind of odd, but look, it is what it is. Okay, so he's got Pro 3 behind the back. Doesn't seem to get much space off that Pro 3, though. But, uh, obviously, hot zones every except the corner. Corner does not matter for a point guard. The release. Um, I'm not high on it. Like, he's prob like he's not probably... He's, prob he's definitely getting sold back after, uh... I get his XP done. But, yeah, Caruso seems... Seems kind of meh. He seems alright. The release is, is, very, is a little bit off. We're not, not on a green. 
Come on. Oh my god. There we go. So his release seems okay. Corver. He's chicken. I'm telling you, I used Tim Legler, who was his release on quick, not very quick. He, and Tim Legler was chicken. Is that Pro 2? I think it is. But no, Corver is chicken. I you give Corver that little bit of space, it's green. And that's why I'm such... That's why I normally I like Corver. And I loved Corver last year. But man, this Corver is significantly better. Because for some reason, he's just some dunk... He's this dunking god who can dribble and curry. He's got unbelievable dribble sigs. I, it is just kind of crazy. And 15k. 15k for this 99 three-point absolute sniper. Probably going to go and make a full video. To be honest, I probably am making a full video right after this on Corver. This is, actually, the Corver video might actually come out before this video. Which is kind of crazy. But, um, yeah, he's... That's the green one. He is absolutely chicken, lads. He is absolutely chicken, lads. And then last up is Winslow. I mean, Winslow is... Winslow is the best six. He's the best possible six. He's got a great between the legs. Um, he's also got a great behind the back um, of Pro 3. His dunking is spectacular. His player build is really big for a point guard. Again, he can curry. His release is super nice. Like of all these players, I think Winslow might have the best release and the easiest release to time and green. Um, and then his dunking is going to be incredible. Like again, handles for days is a, is a must-have badge for Winslow. But um, he is, I'm down. He's one of the best point guards in the game. He's definitely, definitely one of the best point guards in the game. So anyway, now it's green one three, and now we're going to go and play a game with the three of these guys. We're playing Super Sweat, aka Triple Trout Online. We went 9 and 1 when we went through a run earlier today. We saw Fultz. That was it. That was it. Fultz and nobody else. I would have thought we would have seen at least. At least a Dino or something. We literally saw Fultz and Fultz alone. That is all we saw. When we were going, we played 10 games in this, and the only player that we saw that it said there that wasn't the bottom of the bottom prize was Markel Fultz. I was literally the only one we didn't see, which was, oh, which was mad. Which was absolute madness, lads. But, um, either way, either way, hopefully we can go and get a win right here. Because again, we're going to be... We're going to be playing a lot more TT offline anyway the rest of the day. Probably not going to be playing much TT online. I might, again, actually I probably will do a Corver showcase on TT offline, on TT online, but that'll probably be it. We're playing Donegal underscore hospital. Considering he has Donegal in his name, I have to assume he's Irish. The night. Oh, that should have been me. Airball. Okay, we're good. Green that. He's on our back. Oh, big white. Big wide there. Shot there by Winslow. Alright, let's clamp. He's going to curry. I know he's going to curry. He should have shot that. He's going to dot. Oh, good steal, Winslow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Right to the basket. And he's left corner. Green that. Big shot there by Caruso. Good pass by Winslow. That's literally next gen. There's like one move. That's a stick fade. Uh, it's not January. Stick fades don't work that much next gen. Good shot. And the stick isn't. The stick was the be all and end all next gen for a while. It's really not because of the way they touch moving shots. Not a chance. He's left corner. Green that. It's my fault. That's just bad by me. He's wide open. He's going to stick shoot it. Good defense. Oh! He just hit a 40. He just hit a 40. I mean, is Eddie Curry the player we have to ISO on? Because I'm not ISOing on Danny Ferry. I'm not ISOing on Kawhi. He's on our back. Go over it. To your green. There we go. Good shot. I mean, we've managed to get this guy crabbed every possession. So, I'm not too worried about getting open. You need to stop him from hitting his stick shots. No way. 
All right, I'm going to get nice on Kawhi. Let's just see what he's all about in terms of his, his defense. He's playing so high on me that I'm can basically guaranteed to go buy him every single time. Green that. Good shot, Corver. Let's go. Corver is out here. Out here in a catch and shoot situation. Balling out. Okay, we're good. Okay. Corver, you can you can ISO here. He's playing so aggressively on defense. I don't think he realizes the problems that are gonna be caused by how by him playing this aggressive. Okay. Side the side the side. Oh, I didn't mean to curry. That's off. Oh, 2k. You bailing this guy? You really bailing this guy? Okay. Playing so aggressive out there. Can, lads, can you guys just stand? Corver, where are you going? Corver, where are you going? You would have been wide open if you'd have gone anywhere but where you went. Nice, Corver, jamming on him. Let's go. Big dunk there for him. Okay, 14 11. He needs some sort of a stick fade. He's going to shoot something. Like, this guy is shooting anything. He has shot some ridiculous stuff in this game. He's just expecting a switch. We're there. He's going to fade. He's going to fade. He's going to fade. No, he's passed. Jump at that. Great defense, Caruso. 100% smothered. Okay, we're good. Good. He's playing, playing way too high. We can probably get a boost there. He's going to play way too high on one of the sides. Okay, Corver, this is your ISO situation. Okay. He's expecting the curry. We're going to go right to the basket. And Corver gets the dunk. I would have never thought that isoing with Kyle Corver was going to be something that I would regularly do in this game, but I think that might be a thing. Okay, it's a good shot. It's fine though. We can we can win this by twos. We can win this by taking twos. Okay, do the DBG sign. I was about to try to do the DBG signature move, but he's playing too aggressively. The um the behind the pro three behind the Mac into the curry slide the opposite way, the bowl bowl special, but um. Problem is, he's playing way too aggressive. Stick fading. It's his board anyway. Tonight. Not going to stick fade with him. It's green. Yeah, anyone competent with the stick is going to green that shot. Doesn't matter though, a three pointer or a two pointer here, and we have this. He's playing so aggressive that I can't really even do anything. Jam that Caruso. Don't get swatted. Good. All right, no threes. I'll give. I'll gladly give up a two. I'm just going to run around. I can, I can onball this. Live with the two. It's green. He blew it. Catch the ball. Okay. Again, we're in an ice situation with Corver. And why is he playing so aggressively? Man, that's a that was a decent performance. The deep he just said GG, GG's, but man, if you're watching this video, why were you so aggressive on defense? All I need to do is take a half step back and trigger a speed boost. With three players a quick dribble style and it was ggs like but um yeah come on give me faults at least give me faults faults is at least usable faults is at least usable faults is there come on give me faults give me faults 2k give me faults there'll be situations where faults goes to 2k mt and we got one token Oh, that's exactly what we wanted, I think. Yep, that's exactly what we didn't want there. We sent on 2,300 tokens. Two 300 lads. So anyway, yeah, that's the video. These guys are pretty nice. They're all good. Like, Winslow had a really good game there, but man, this Corver card is a beast. Uh, Caruso, I mean, Caruso had a good game. He's being sold straight away after I do his XP because, I mean, I just don't ever plan on using him. But honestly, like, we're looking at my best squad. I mean, Corver's in there. Winslow, I mean, Winslow's in right now for Wall, but I could put Wall right back in, in like two games. Um, to be honest, I probably... Hmm, what's the speed? No, I'll keep him in. I'll keep Winslow in just as a top point guard, but I may end up just putting him Wall. But um, Corver, oh, Corver's speed with his shot, yeah, he's, he's a step above. Even though he isn't a blind, he is a step above bone. 
And he's a, st he's a step above, like, the Malik Seelys of the world. Like, if you're looking at my other two guards, he's a step above Clyde. Like, heck, he dunks the ball as well, as if not better than Clyde. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.